Okay, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Powerplay. We're here today with episode 13 with Dina, right? So yeah. hi Dina. And hello. <laughs> so for the viewers who don't know Dina, I'll let her introduce yourself, right? Mm, so okay. could you give us a brief introduction. Okay, uh, so hello everyone. Uh, you don't know how to smile like that. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. Pleasure. Uh, it's an honor to be one of your guests. So... I hope you are well and I hope all the questions given are not too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my name is Dina Ahmad. I am 24, uh, 24 years old this year. Oh, very young. Okay. Very young. Yeah. Younger. <laughs> I'm 33, but okay, continue. <laughs> uh, so, I am a professional futsal player and I play in a goalkeeper position. Okay, very cool. Uh, graduated in accountancy and currently working in accounting and finance and nice. also running my own online business and then uh, managing a goalkeeper academy. Nice, very cool. Okay, so uh, the question that most people will ask is, uh, that I think most people want to know is how did you get into futsal with the background okay. that you have mentioned? Uh. Okay, uh, so... Dulu I main netball and handball back during my secondary school. Mm -hmm. So uh, handball as a center and eh, sorry, uh, netball as a center and handball as a goalkeeper. Okay. Uh, but basically we just play for fun lah. Lepas tu I further my study, uh, I masuk college. And then there was a futsal tournament organized at my college. And then so me and my friend decided to participate lah. Okay. Lepas tu yeah. kita main uh, Macam biasa since it has the similarity to Netball and handball Yeah. So kita kata macam Okay why not we give a try lah And then kita main uh, But macam Macam biasa there's no one wants to be the goalkeeper Okay <laughs> So I wanted myself to be a goalkeeper Since I pernah main But dulu just for fun kan So yeah. I cakap okay lah uh, Let me be the goalkeeper And then uh, kita main uh, And I think we Won the second place Okay uh, Lepas tu the tournament finish Okay Kita pun semua balik And then huh. On my way back On that day I kept thinking about The Futsal punya thing lah mm. So I said uh, Macam Macam best lah main goalkeeper ni okay. So I found something enjoyable In Playing as a goalkeeper so from there I think I never looked back and then I decided to continue playing. Okay. So yeah. I went to the internet and uh to find any girls academy that I can join mm. for me to learn lah. Lepas tu uh at that time macam tak banyak girls academy since sekarang pun baru uh the There's women's maybe baru. a few yeah. lah kan. Dulu macam tak banyak but I managed to find one and then I joined the academy. So, melekat until now. So, today, I am in front of Jeremy Dave talking about <laughs> futsal. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, so that's about it. That's very cool. Uh, I think, uh, of, of course, like the goalkeeper position, like you mentioned, you played goalkeeper in, in handball as well. Mm. Kan? So, is this similar? Uh, similar cuma kalau covering in handball tu lagi besar lah. So, okay. Because they use hands, kan? Yeah. Uh, so, kalau macam in goalkeeper, I think we can see. So, but the bola tu memang kat kaki. So, at least yes. kita boleh baca dulu dia nak sepak. There's a lot more tricks uh, with yeah, handball, yeah. kan? Okay. So, uh, as you mentioned, you also found it a bit difficult to find a platform for you as yep. when you were starting out, kan? Yes. So, uh, just to get your thoughts on the matter, like what do you think of the women's futsal scene in Malaysia? And it's okay, you don't have to spare any details lah. <laughs> <laughs> Bahaya ni. <laughs> okay. Um, honestly speaking, uh, women's futsal industry right now is, I think it's very critical. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll elaborate more on that later. But on a positive side, um, we have a lot of good players that can play and the numbers are increasing which is good yeah and then i can see a uh, more platform for girls dah banyak girls academy mm. contoh like yours uh, yeah. one united mota and many more so 
we also can see satu dua liga yang dah start main in FIFA and they apply the rules like um, MPFL. This is the ROF. They are not using it. They are not using it for the MPFL. It's good to see all this, uh, but unfortunately, it's only the progression is only for social, but not for career. Ah, okay. Mm. I think we don't receive enough support for our platform. Yeah. And then, as you know, uh, there's no MPFL for women this year, mm. which is I'm really really sad about. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Twenty twenty four. You can hope. <laughs> Hopefully, lah. Yes. The past two. Uh, I think benda-benda ni I believe it happens because uh, banyak factor lah. Uh, one of it is like financial mm. uh, system, team management, and things like that. So okay, so it's a lot to do with the fact that there is no structure lah. Yeah. To the entire league to begin with lah. Mm. Uh, platform satu-satu platform. Yang kita harap untuk ada itu sendiri tak ada. So for us, uh, woman yang contoh, I, I'm still new in the industry. When mm-hmm. we, I started playing in 2000, late 2019. Okay. Uh, so still new. So bila I dah, uh, my last year was my first year in playing MPFL. Pastu this year dah tak ada. So. It's like a start and stop lah. Uh, ah, then macam this year ada, next year tak ada, next following week kita tak tahu ada lagi kita. So mm. as I said, uh, sad lah to see all this kan. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I mean, even actually for the men's, who mm. say it is not the best it should yeah, be yeah. lah kan. But you know? at least, at least there is something at lah. At least there's something yeah. Yeah, that that's true. That's true. Um, but like. Of course, I know the fact that uh, as a career, mm-hmm. most of even the men cannot yeah. use futsal as a career yet, lah. Yes. You know. But so like this year, can add a team baru, yeah. uh, JDT. So it's good to see uh, a prof, uh, channel, a proper team yang they conduct they themselves can, very professionally, lah. Yes, la. they can do full time instead of. Part time. Part time, yes. Kalau kita tengok even from performance pun, kalau orang yang main as a part time ni, ada uh, punya performance dengan orang yang main full time is, of course, yeah, of berbeza. Course. Yeah. Because orang kena fikir kerja lepas so after after kerja nak kena fikir training, so yeah. the performance is not as good as you main full time. Yeah, of course, because it it's very simple lah. Mm-hmm. The input that you have in training yeah. will equal your output in the game lah, kan? And in most of the teams, I mean, there are a few full-time teams. I think uh, in Malaysia, I would mm-hmm. say maybe Pahang and JDT yes. are probably the two teams that have full-time mm-hmm. players. And from the results, you already can yeah. see that the final two uh, most likely will be Pahang JDT, lah, kan? Yeah. I mean, this is the this for the cup, lah. I mean, mm-hmm. Selangor Mac can pull off a miracle. But they have good players as well. But True. even them also, they have certain number of players who are, I would say, full time players juga mm, lah. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is a big problem in the industry as a whole, and I cannot yeah. even imagine if the guys are so like this, then what happens to the girls? Yes, yes, yes. You know. I think okay. Uh, harapan kita orang is not like to have like um, liga yang macam setanding dunia ke apa ke. It's just we hope uh. There's a league that is uh, consistently going on every year without fail. Yeah. And I tak pelik lah kenapa macam we are still at there je. We don't improve because benda tu tak consistent. And then kal um, kalau you tengok macam contoh lah uh, kalau liga kita consistent kita ada liga yang tak On off, on off. Yeah. Kita boleh tengok progression in our futsal industry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, also, players' performance. Yeah. Can. Yeah, of course. So, kalau liga tu ongoing, kita boleh nampak progression in everything. So, banyak lah benda-benda yang sekecik-kecik benda yang membawa impact besar yes, kepada yes. futsal industry. Yeah, but I think like okay, for example lah, kan tak ada MPFL this mm. year, right? But I think there are some. Platforms, or rather, there should be some platforms for mm. 
the women to still mm. uh, compete. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think that there's an initiative that maybe uh, those in the industry, like even myself, like could mm. could maybe help in that extent because at the end of the day is from what I know lah, most of these players are not playing for the money yeah. because if you're playing for the money, you don't play. It's futsal. about passion, lah. I think. Yes. The right, you're playing because you love the game, mm-hmm. uh, and if the money comes along, good. True. You know, your dream is I get paid to play. True. You know, and whether you get how much to get paid, pun sometimes people don't Betul. even think. You know, but Betul. at the end day, if there is a platform that is good, that is consistent, mm-hmm. I think not just the the, the women's league, will, the women's teams and players will benefit, mm-hmm. but I also think that even. In general, the sport should be able to grow a bit better, lah. Yeah. So it's not just MPFL. I think the leagues should follow the MPFL yes, blueprint and mm. play it this way. But the big problem is that people don't want to fork out the cost, lah. Yeah. You know, true. because betul. it's expensive to book FIFA court. Yeah. Ref put mahal FIFA betul. court. Like all these kind of things. But betul. if you're looking at the sport, this is a small price to pay for a long-term development, lah. Mm. This is just my opinion, lah. So, so this true, is something true. that. Uh, actually, my team and I are working on. Uh, yeah. so of course, we can't do everything at the betul. same time, lah. Yeah. So we're trying to work on a few things, lah. Mm. So I know the women scene. Yes, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's just go a bit in depth and into what's it like to be a women's futsal player, lah. You know, like what are the frustrations that you feel as a player besides the developmental part, lah. You know, of I know the structure and. Platform is not the best, but other than that, are there any specific frustrations that you might feel? Frustration, ah. Eh? Hmm. Uh, I thought support too is a bit low. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna go into details, lah. <laughs> but uh, as as I mentioned before, uh, lack of platform. Okay. We are lack of platform, and in fact, uh, the football itself is just starting to get its exposure. Yes. Recently. FAS. Ah. Uh, I think this is a global. Did did you play the FAS? Uh, no. League? no, no, no. Uh, I think this is the global issue, and in Asia, it's still at infancy stage, lah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Okay, what about That's like uh, other problem with coaches, ke fans, ke? Uh, I think of, mm, the rest is okay, lah. Okay, it, it's like na, uh, no issue, pas- about it, part and parcel of playing, lah. True. Okay. Fair. Of course, I can add a coach, yang. Maybe, cina kita tak boleh nak fikir coach tu hanya boleh yang baik baik je untuk you, you know. Yeah, there yeah. There must yeah. be something yang macam, uh, but the, there must be a reason lah like, kenapa coach tu buat macam ni, kenapa coach tu buat macam ni. Yes. Kadang kita akan macam kenapa eh coach ni buat macam ni, but I think in my opinion, mungkin coach tu nampak uh, benda yang kita tak nampak. Kan? Uh. Yes, I think I agree yeah. with that. As you as a coach, I think I can have a player yang contoh kalau kita tak diberi peluang untuk bermain. Hmm. Setengah player akan rasa macam uh, coach ni saja je tak nak bagi saya main ke apa. But hmm. I think uh, daripada pandangan coach tu sendiri dia seorang coach so dia tahulah siapa yang patut main sekarang, yes, siapa patut duduk kat bench dulu. So it's about Tu je lah. So, okay. Few people, I think, don't understand that. Tapi recently, not few people. A lot, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. So, I think few people understand that no coach wants to lose. Yes, betul. You know. Tapi bukanlah <laughs> satu orang kata green light for any coach to do anything. Yes, that they of want. course, of course. I mean, that's the. It's not a dictatorship. Yes, lah. betul. It depends on your coaching style. Yeah. So, kadang-kadang it depends on what the if the coach has their your best interest mm. at heart. Mm-hmm. Betul. Right, this is at the end of the day how a coach should be lah to be yeah. able to develop players. Yes. Right. True. Depends also at the level that you're at. If mm. you're at academy, maybe exposure mm. is enough. But if you're competing at mm. PFL, they cannot be a. Hey, I jaga ah, your perasaan. Ah, you don't soft soft ah, soft ke apa? You don't do what I do. You sit on the bench. Yeah. You know I can't be holding your hand and then helping you along true. the way lah. So it depends the where you want to go. Yeah. But I think a lot of players don't really understand that like. The coach will play who he thinks deserves to play, mm-hmm. right? Of course, there are there are some exceptions to the rule where some players who don't deserve to play get to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are talking about the majority, lah. Mm-hmm. Can yeah. Okay, so where is the line that you draw as to uh, I won't listen to the coach? 
Okay. Yeah. What is a, what is an example? If <laughs> if ada lah. Kalau tak ada tak apa. Maybe okay. you had good coaches your whole life, which is good. Aduh. <laughs> <laughs> coach coach you bahaya lah. I think. Uh, tak payah bagi nama uh, and team uh, kalau tak nak okay, lah. Okay, but kak. experience it lah. It depends lah because. Kita, okay, I banyak main team-team social and then even in MPFL team. So, lain tempat, lain cara coach tu mengajar and lain cara dia uh, conduct dia punya team. Hmm. So... <laughs> <laughs> We're trading on very dangerous waters, but okay. Uh, this is very dangerous, but <laughs> I think uh, adapt kita as a player kita akan listen to that coach lah but hmm. at the end of the day kita ambil mana yang kita rasa baik lah ok ok yeah. so you believe that you will know where the line is lah yeah, and if it cross you have to make your own decision yes, lah yes yes maybe kita boleh tanya in polite way uh, coach boleh tak kalau kita try buat macam ni ke ah, you know yeah, yeah. Fair, it's not fair. like it's not like to say coach I tak buat ni lah you know things yes, like yes, that yes. lah so. ok so intention lah is The most important thing lah Like yes. what is your approach Yes, 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 yes Okay, very Akan good lah, Kalau coach tu nak suruh you pergi Buat something yang You ras, you tahu benda tu salah Tak yang kita nak Still mm. buat kan So No, because I, I so. For a good example I can give you Is like uh, I've uh, I've also played in teams uh, mm-hmm. That Have coaches that are I would say quite Very qualified Yeah uh, Again I won't mention names And all this lah But uh, They ask the Certain players to press Okay, mm-hmm. this is a is a full press lah kan, but the players themselves that were chosen to do the press don't believe that they can press. Mm. Oh. Uh, because it's a it's a high risk high reward mm-hmm. game mm-hmm. when it comes to pressing kan, so if you know that your players are not capable or the players themselves don't believe that they are comfortable with this. Mm. Situation. Uh, it, it's a it's, yeah. It's a very dangerous game to play lah. So sometimes even the players themselves, the minute the coach said this, you're like, hey, I, we how are we gonna press? Like timing lari mm. tak buat betul, you know all these kind of things lah. So then they struggle, uh, and then the results go away. But what I take back from this is that, kalau coach suruh buat, there must be a reason. Just buat mm-hmm. je lah. And if result doesn't go your way, it's a conversation you can have with your coach. True. But kalau result doesn't go your way 10 times, then maybe something is something wrong. Is wrong. <laughs> uh, so then something needs to change. Yeah. So it's a patient game juga lah, I think. So what do you think about like uh, girls playing futsal? Like, uh, you know there is that stereotype mm. lah kan? Okay, oh. I know we're moving to the next point, right? So, but there's a big stereotype. Like if mm-hmm. the girls that play futsal uh, are not that feminine, all this mm. kind of nonsense that people just spew about suka Yelah, hati. Macam... Uh, awak tu perempuan je boleh tak duduk dapur ah, je yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that, See I cannot say that You uh, can yeah. <laughs> So we, we will leave it to that Faham 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 yeah. So like Have you faced any like Negative comments Or discrimination Or like They uh-huh. discourage you To play futsal Because you're a girl Okay uh, In my opinion I think uh, It's never a wrong thing To do for a woman To play futsal Because I believe Futsal is for all Yes it is And just for additional infos, do you know in Europe, uh, eventually, uh, generally, there are casual sessions macam kita selalu main mm-hmm. uh, futsal malam-malam tu are joined by mixed males and females. Okay. Uh, but without any rules. So, kalau oh. macam Malaysia, kalau kita main mix tu, can only women can score Yes, it's like, like the only, yeah. only girls can score and then there's only two guys in the team or something yes, like this, yes. right? So, I, uh, they play with no rules, which I think that is the way to play lah. That's how the level will go up yes, lah, kan? Yes, yes, yes. And then, uh, benda-benda macam tu, okay, kalau for them, it's normal. For us, maybe I can add a, you know, there's a line between it. Yeah. So, So I sliding rasa, tackle semua okey lah sana. Tak ada masalah <laughs> lah. Kau. So to answer your question, I thankfully I have not been put in a position where I was discriminated against since okay. I put my in with all boys every week. Okay. Uh, so I think gender is never an issue for me lah. Okay, I mean that's a good thing lah. Yeah, I that's mean, good thing. Because I yeah. know a lot of uh, even in my girls team, walaupun mm. they are not even as mm. let's say. Uh, playing in the level that you are mm. playing 
even on a general basis socially pun they get comments faced uh, in terms yeah. of like why are you uh-huh. playing don't waste your time true I mean passion is one thing lah kan yes. but then why are you playing with the, like it's a boy sport you should mm. be doing things for girls I mean I think we are past masa tu dah lah mm. like that is like olden days and yeah. you should leave that in the 50 years ago yes, 60 true. years ago I rasa so, dulu kalau diorang main mix they don't have rules yang macam sekarang ni but I'm not sure why they put rules now Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I still remember It was mixed Ken. with no rules Yeah And then From what I remember It became only girls can score Yes mm. I still remember Some leagues is you Your your keeper Must be A guy also Oh really? Ah, that, oh, I that, didn't know that ah, There's like One player outfield One player mm. keeper Then the rest girls okay. I mean it depends lah I mean catered to the To the league that you join lah kan Dulu I I boleh kata uh, People still started to know me bila I main mix tau. So dulu I start I memang start dengan mix game. Hmm. And then uh, as time goes by um, there's one time bila orang ajak I mix tu I tak on tau and then they started cakap oh Dina dah start main MPFL so dia dah tak <laughs> pergi mix ke apa. It's uh. not like that but people don't know that uh, Benda-benda macam ni ya, rules yang bila only woman can score Secara tidak langsung akan kacau my ladies game Which yes. is uh, Kalau mix, kita boleh Kita boleh agak tau siapa yang akan score So kita as a goalkeeper, yeah. ni as goalkeeper uh, Kita akan tahu siapa yang akan score So kita dah boleh baca ni Yeah of course, okay, if, so I mean if, if the yes. guy is coming at you yes. one on one Takkan kita nak jaga guys won't. kan? You know okay. that it's going for the past lah kan? So, benda tu kacau my ladies game which is uh, Kadang-kadang I ter-apply benda tu dalam ladies I see punya game. So, since then I macam kurangkan my mix uh, Yeah Lepas tu orang cakap, oh Dina Sombong uh, Dah uh, sombong, <laughs> Dina dah main PFL tak main mix But, I tak explain to them lah I think no Cukup lah, lah I yang tahu if kan If you know yeah. And you're doing what's right Yeah. For yourself And for the True. sport You don't need and to explain yourself Because there will be A thousand people Who yeah. will question everything That you do Takkan you nak explain True. Kat seribu orang So I, I feel like I I not main game yang Where you know You can improve So If I main mix I'm not saying mix Is not good It's good if you nak pergi Main huha-huha Dengan kawan yeah, you for fun, kan, lah. for fun yeah. Yeah. But It's not a priority lah Kalau dalam satu hari tu I ada game ladies Dengan game mix Of course I pergi ladies Betul lah Yeah, of course, of course. Mm. Because you want to take your game up to the next level, lah, kan? It's a very simple thing. At least I gain something, lah. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you know, you need to be challenged for your level to go yes, up. Yes, true. So yeah. bila I tak on mix tu, ah, uh, mula lah orang cakap, oh, dia nak macam ni, dia macam ni. Tapi uh, I, I just smile and wave. Like, <laughs> I see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that's one of the reason. Oh, I tak I tak free lah. Habis lah. Lepas ni orang aja, <laughs> yeah, betul ke dia tak free ni? Ah, ha? <laughs> true, true, true. true. So But it's okay. Like I mean, you are also giving them an explanation as to why you do what you do. Yeah, lah. yeah. And yeah. people need to. You can't The whole world Won't be able to understand Your perspective mm. So You just need to do What's best For yourself yeah. And if that isn't Stepping on anybody else there is, I don't see Should a problem okay With it lah kan <laughs> Yang terasa tu terasa lah Either they have to get better And then play The ladies league With you lah kan <laughs> Hope so lah Yes <laughs> Boleh So do you feel like Any pressure To portray <laughs> Futsal uh, Like a female Futsal player Image lah Ada Okay Um uh... I know lah you ambassador or Jangan lah <laughs> macam tu No lah There's nothing to do with ambassador But uh, In order to feel pressure I think uh, There should be traction To even give me that Positive pressure Yeah uh, And I think at the moment There is not enough traction To even give me that pressure So you don't feel <laughs> sangat lah uh, I think you tanya I soalan ni pun lagi I pressure <laughs> <laughs> so, Okay uh, I enjoy I think I enjoy being uh, to portray myself as a female futsal player because I have gained so many uh, positive opportunity from it as well. Yeah. So. So, so not so lah, not so lah for you. Uh, Soon lah. Not so lah, but I hope one day, uh, hopefully, our women futsal industry will grow to give me that. Uh, positive pressure also to feel uh, responsibility yes. for that spot. Yeah, yeah. I, I can I can see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so like I know you mentioned MPFL you played last year lah kan. Yeah. So uh, do you have any like inspirations in or uh, like your idola lah kira kan in okay. MPFL ada. Tak? You can pick player or goalkeeper pun tak apa. If you think you're the best goalkeeper also Ay, tak jangan. apa. Jangan tak apa. <laughs> I still have more things to learn lah. But it's okay. Confidence uh, is good. Okay. I want to start this with a quote from Marta. Marta oh, is yes. uh, Brazilian. Uh, yes, she is a Brazilian Swedish professional footballer. So um, during one of her press conference recently, she said that when she was playing, there were no one that she can look up to. Mm. And seeing what she has done to the women's game and Brazilian team. I hope uh, that kind of volume is being created for the women's game in futsal. Yeah. And then, as for me, I'll be humble enough to recognize that our futsal scene is not yet there uh, to produce positive influence like Marta. And probably that is one of the responsi- responsibility for me to carry and to be contributed to women's game that's in brilliant. futsal. That's a very good answer. Yeah, <laughs> as it is, futsal itself uh, don't have uh, don't give. Kita masih dekat bawah lagi, and we don't receive enough support. And yeah. <laughs> so, futsal itself tak de uh, orang tak nampak lagi what else uh, women's game and what else yeah. uh, women golero in futsal kan? Kalau I tanya you. Keep, uh, goalkeeper kat Malaysia ni pun I rasa boleh kira pekerjari kot kan <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't know that many lah Yeah, yeah I don't know that many yeah, Maybe so, three, four more lah. Lah. Yeah. I rasa Kalau kita nak tengok In terms of uh, Player tu punya hard work ke apa There's one one or two that we can yeah. Jadikan sebagai contoh lah Cuma as for me As uh, a goalkeeper I think I uh, Itulah kita belum cukup untuk uh, bagi something to people lah. Okay, hmm. okay. But it's a work in progress lah kan? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay. So next time somebody I call on the podcast would say you are the eh, inspiration jangan. lah. Eh, <laughs> jangan. Bahaya kan jawapan saya <laughs> <I> ni. <laughs> Aduh. Yes. Okay, okay. Can, can. Now we'll move on. Next, next, next. Okay, okay. okay. Right, so <laughs> what do you think uh, needs to change uh, in order to encourage women to play futsal, more futsal? I'm not just talking about the professional scene lah kan? Hmm. It's also to do with like uh, social, amateur, semi-pro. Right? Mm-hmm. What do you think needs to change? Okay. Uh, first of all, grassroots yes. system, uh, platform, a paradigm shift of growth mindset, yeah. uh, move away from conventional thinking. Contoh, kalau you tengok uh, kita punya liga sekarang nowadays for ladies lah, mm. uh, for men, I tak sentuh, but for ladies. Mm, you will find the rule the card poster to there's no uh, MPFL player. Oh, rules like that. I mean, uh, okay. means tak open lah. So I think benda tu definitely it's not fair for us hmm. uh, because kita ni ladies dah lah tak banyak platform and then liga liga macam ni tak open kan. Um, oh sekarang so all the FIFA card no MPFL eh. Kalau FIFA court and PFL, oh, but it lah. tu pun ada limit. Contoh macam oh, two player ke? Ah, only two players allowed in the court. Lepas tu mm. yang liga-liga macam small court apa semua memang mm. tak open. And I ada banyak uh, kawan-kawan yang they can play very well, but they don't take uh, the chance to further their career yeah. to play in MPFL because they know once they enter MPFL. They, they, get, uh, they don't get the chance to play. Yeah. So, benda-benda macam ni akan terbantut lah because yeah, they, yeah. they want to further their career tapi benda-benda macam ni ada, ada, ada aftermath dia. After yeah. Tapi, I rasa the intention is mm. correct from the organizer. Meaning, they want to separate professional and True. not professional. Okay. But the volume of professional players and semi-pro players is not enough for this to be a rule yet. Yes, lah. true. Right. And then, I rasa macam I cakap, tahun ni tak di MPFL. Then uh, where you going to play? Yes, true. That one of it. And lepas tu, disebabkan our 
women futsal industry ni tak banyak platform. So I think the level of uh, professional player dengan player-player amateur tu it's not like langit dengan bumi you know. Yep. You, know you get what yep. I mean. So I rasa kalau you buat open it's good because Uh, you can support each other and MPFL punya player they have a uh, more platform to play mm. and even ada competitor baru so in terms of player-player yang amato they can improve because they play with better players professional player yeah. so it's like win win situation yeah yeah exactly i agree mm. i mean mm. even Um, I think the difference between the men side is that there's already so many platforms for True. for men. Uh, kalau to... men, okay, kita boleh cakap uh, level MPF player dengan amatu player tu memang hmm. akan certain, quite jauh lah. Certain teams are lah. the gap lah. Yes, yes, yes but yes. for women, I think uh, this is one of the thing that you can change. Buat je open, so hmm. okay. you can you can see big difference lah in yeah. the futsal industry. Okay, but even the 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 men's leagues also they they have the same rules. Mm-hmm. MPFL uh, two player, at MPFL time, three yeah. player at a time. I mean, to me, no problem lah because mm. the the thrill of it is actually should be playing against True. people who think they're the best in the country, mm. right? So and then sometimes you test yourself against better players. Yeah. So you see, this, I think uh, benda-benda macam tu akan naikkan confidence sesetengah player. Mm. So it's like if okay, let's say they they win lah against team yang banyak professional player, so yeah. they will feel like oh they can play. Let's think of what we can do next lah kan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I mean, this is a problem I think across the board lah. So what yeah. you mentioned, I think is perfect lah. I think it's grassroots development. I think the entire structure, number mm. of platforms. Uh, I think league organizations also need to improve for mm. to allow uh, availability for more women to play lah. Yes. Right? So this is like I mentioned. I think there are few people, uh, myself included, who are looking into these kind of things to help at least the the amateur scene and the semi pro scene yeah. first lah. Because I mean we are not in the position to touch the mm. professional scene yet lah. <laughs> you know. Telah <laughs> kita kita ni macam mana? Kita bukanlah orang yang uh, have the right to do this, to do that, kan? Yeah, so yeah. what the least I can do uh, is here lah talking about futsal industry, women futsal industry. So I hope there will be changes in future. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, what actually uh, drives change is mm. uh, a lot of passion. Mm-hmm. If it really means something to you uh, and you do something about it, I think a lot of people will follow what you do, lah. I hope so lah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. I mean, like for example, like I could give uh, the, the the few teams of few people mm. that I know. The in the starting of change is it takes one person lah. I yeah, know it's I a know. it's it's a speech that a lot of people have given yeah. before. It takes one person to change the world, blah blah blah. But you need a group of people who have the same mindset, mm, yeah, true. Uh, and the same drive and the same passion towards the sport, mm-hmm. and then we can see how we can make certain mm. changes lah. and sometimes when you think you can't affect the professional scene mm. when you do it well enough the professional scene might come to you mm. <laughs> I mean so that is uh, another True. thing that we can maybe look towards next time <laughs> yeah. you know, like I said we, we will tread the water slightly uh, but this is just a few of the things that, that I think can really help the scene as well mm. so before we end right so what advice would you give a girl who is interested in playing futsal But doesn't know where to start. Advice, ah, ah this is we have to ask the great Dina. Oh, you jangan. I understand if, uh, yelah, masa I baru-baru nak main pun ada semacam patut ke I main kan. So I understand if uh, you are Segana. afraid of ah. yeah uh, to play a sport where majority daripada uh, untuk sport ni adalah lelaki kan. So. Uh, tapi buat masa sekarang ni nowadays you can see the the numbers of players for women mm. is, uh, is increasing which is good. Yeah. Uh, so just give it a try, gain more knowledge and cuba mahir dalam critical thinking, problem solving, and then jaga attitude. <laughs> That's for both men and women. So yes. Okay. <laughs> jaga attitude. Uh, I I believe. Uh, you will be a good quality player if you have all this. So, 
with the advancement of uh, our technology today, there are avenues which one can look up to. Uh, your entity is one of it, One United. Okay. Um, I didn't pay her commission. to do this. <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, it's true, uh, One United for players. Yeah. Uh, do you have goalkeeper? We have one. Okay, so yeah. more than welcome to... To participate with SBA if yes. you are interested in being a goalkeeper. Okay. So, so la, that's that's all for me. Okay. So yes, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, uh, just before we end, I'd just mm-hmm. like to say that uh, if any of you do want to reach out to, I think, Dina to, in order to find out if you're a girl, you're shy to play the sport, maybe need a bit of advice, I think... <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can reach me yes. out anytime. Don't yes. worry. Okay. So I tak sombong. Yes, she's very very nice. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for episode fourteen of Foul Play next week. Yes. Uh, for anything and everything puts out. See you guys next week. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. To yes. Wine United. <laughs> I was supposed to Don't say that. Don't forget to <laughs> comment and anything. Like and everything. Yes, brilliant. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Dina. much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.